Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and we tainted Isaac to Delirium last time. Pretty good stuff. Um, and I'm not sure who to go for next. God damn, we did, we did a lot of tainted Eve on that other run. Um, good stuff with how laggy she was. It was pretty impressive we got all that done. But who should we go as here? I mean, I, I should probably try and do some tainted Lazarus stuff. I do find him to be a pretty sort of difficult character. But he is, he is good, um, or can be good, and after the rework, he's a lot more capable than he was before. And a, a lot more fun, I'd say, as well. Uh, especially if you manage to get his birth right, which obviously isn't super common, but it can happen every now and again. And it makes the character leagues more fun, in my opinion. So we'll hope for that, we, uh, that we come across that. I'm going to try and put out that fire there real quick. This is kind of a tricky room here. I'm kind of glad I'm this version of... Uh, of this fella right now, so we've got the extra damage to take these guys out, because otherwise we'll be having kind of a hard time here. Let's see what we've got for our item, though. Uh, Slippy Tooth and Scatter Bombs. Um, the Scatter Bombs I'm actually not that asked about. Slippy Tooth is good. Um, I guess I should take Scatter Bombs regardless, though. Let's, let's flip and take it. They are useful. Um, it's not like they're terrible or anything. I don't think we're going to need to flip again this floor, so it's not really a waste of a charge, really. My, my biggest problem with this character is is forgetting sort of when and where to manage things. Batteries give damage up for the current floor instead of um, charging it active. That's pretty good, but honestly, I think with this character, uh, batteries are pretty goddamn useful. Yeah, Slippy, Tooth here, really nice stuff. Uh, and it produces this gunk on the floor, the good old poop slick, uh, as I've deemed it. That um, is really useful. Really useful for dealing some extra damage. Uh, but yeah, I always find it difficult knowing when to actually utilize my uh, my flip and like when not to. That's always my biggest problem with this character. Is like not using my charges correctly. Do you have the extra bombs to do this? Unfortunately, actually, yeah, we got the we got the right one. I was gonna say unfortunately we got the wrong one here, but no, I think I'd rather have the red chest here. Um, we get death cap. On use, take a bite and receive the following changes. Um, minus damage. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the thing where once it's fully consumed, it's, it's good. Uh, take damage and receive the following stats. I, I want to take this as my other character. Because um, his stats are already low. So I'm like, why not double down and try and get the poison shot going on? I'm a little bit worried about it, I'll be honest. It's, it doesn't seem like a great idea, but I'm also... I'm thinking, like, mm, can I really afford to not take it and um, and not get the, the poison shots? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure it gives you, like, a 30% or 40% poison shot rate once you get it complete. And it gives you all your stats back as well. It obviously takes a little bit of doing. takes a little bit of stress to sort of get your way through it. Um, but it's fine. Uh, so let's... I was going to say let's go in the cash room, but actually let's not. Yeah, let's not. Let's let's come in here, grab this, use it. And the stats down aren't that bad either. Uh, right, then we'll come in here. That was not, not what I was hoping for there. Yeah, not what I was hoping for here really at all. Hey, did you get a luck upgrade out of that? Okay, not too bad. I was hoping that would be a, um, a flip, so I could flip into my other character. Because I want to have scatter bombs to this guy, and I'd like to just use a bomb against the boss. But yeah, at least it only deals half a heart of damage. The reason I took it on him is because he had red, he has red health. Uh, I don't know if it messes with my devil deal chance. I'm hoping it wouldn't, but you never really know. Oh god. A little bit worried about this, to be honest. I'm not too worried about dying, I'm just worried about getting hit. A bit much. I'm hoping I can get poop slick on one of these guys, but it's not happening right now. Yeah, well, there's four of these guys. Getting hit is kind of a certainty here. Um, and I guess we'll just take this as you anyways. And we can't flip that anyways. I'm just going to leave and re-enter just so the poop actually drops stuff. And I'll destroy it all. Um, yeah, health is not great on our other character right now. But anyways, let's head on down. I've got nothing particular in mind I want to do on this run. I think I am going to go angel deal rather than devil deal though. I'm pretty sure I'm Pretty much already decided on that. Not too bad. We got ourselves an extra key. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the risk and just use my death cap once I've got the health to enable it. Um, and see if I end up 
losing my devil deal chance or not. I have a feeling I, I will, but I'm not sure. Deceiver heart there, that's fine. Right, try all these poops. Get everything out of the way. Happy to be this guy for the big rooms, actually. Except for the big guys throwing their goddamn heads. The heads are always weird because of that, like, curve that they have and they can, like, chase you. And they've got that sort of weird acceleration thing going on where they, like, speed up and slow down. You've got to be kind of cautious around them. You guys have managed to hippity-hop all over the goddamn place. Good, good. Bomb. I don't want to take the... Actually, I'll take the bite now, yeah. Okay, didn't change my devil deal chance. Nice. Right, come in here, see what we've got going on. Um, I will take that, and I'm not going to take the crow. Take that for the HP up. I just... The dead crow is just so valueless that there's no point wasting a flip charge on it, to be honest. It'd just be pointless. Might as well save flip charge for something else. I don't know what else, but something else. Okay. Yeah, so far not too bad. I'm reasonably happy, and I think getting stem cells on that character is good for the HP up. Not that, like, it protects a devil deal or anything like that. It's just nice to have. Yeah, I saw that one coming. I like having the poop slick to be able to sort of work around things. I'm a little, I just want to say, I'm a little worried about doing this with the buttons. Uh, just because I feel like it's going to enable us to get trapped. I mean, I've accidentally pressed another button there, so not ideal. Watch them all be spiders somehow. Okay, no, they're not all spiders, but they might all be enemies. That's okay, though. We can deal with it. It's unfortunate the poop like doesn't deal damage over time to enemies that stand on it, but it is what it is. Um, I'd actually rather, if I can do this... Yes. I'm going to push... Use the red heart to push away the soul heart so that I can take it as my other character to protect my devil deal. This is a slightly annoying room here because these guys are going to be hippity hopping all over the goddamn place. I'm more annoyed about the champion version of this guy that we've got going on here because he's kind of tricky. As for the question of the day today, um... As for the question of the day today... What's, um... What, what's, what's your... Like a game that you're that you're a shill for. What's a game that you constantly like try to sell to other people on how good it is? Because I feel like there's a lot of games that people either underrate or just don't like very much. Um, I guess we'll take that. It's a little annoying, but I guess we'll take it. Um, but yeah, like, but like a game that you, that a lot of people either underrate or yeah, like don't talk about enough, and you just absolutely shill for the game whenever you get the opportunity. You always like bring it up or talk about it or. Emphasize that people need to try it. And also, what's been a... Like, this is a secondary. What's been a game that recently disappointed you? For me, it was the um, AK Axolotl game. I've, I've, I've since refunded that game. I did one episode on it, and it was, it, was a, it was a decent amount of fun, but I could tell the game had absolutely no longevity in terms of, like, being a good roguelike. Like, it had some good, like, basis there for a good game, but, like... For a roguelike, the replayability was pretty terrible. And it might be one of those games that gets better down the line sort of thing. And I come back to it um, in a year's time and it's really good. But it's not an early access game. It was a full release and it felt very early access. So it was a bit bit of a disappointment. Oh, that was such a... I don't think I've ever been hit by one of those before. I just kind of walked into that one. Oh, dude, this guy needs to stop moving. There you go, there we got it. We got ourselves squeezy here, um, which I will do. I'll grab on this guy. I'll take one of these on you, and I'll go and flip in this other room to take the other one. I know we could try and do boss rush and stuff, but honestly, as this character, I need to play somewhat methodically um, to make sure I'm sort of making the most of everything. Uh, and so I'm going to try my best to flip and get health on e even characters to make sure... We're sort of ready. I don't know if my uh, my cap is going to deal damage to soul hearts as well. That's another thing I haven't really considered. Pinking she is. That was kind of speedy the way that came at me. I'm hoping you get, I get card reading from this fella. Because card reading is goddamn fantastic. Ah, unfortunate. We did get a judgment. I guess I'll pick it up. 
I think we've got two or three more bites left on our um, on our mushroom cap thing here. Um, and then I believe, yeah, we get all of the stats back and we keep the poison shot chance is how I, how I remember this thing working. Um, especially because it's quality three, you wouldn't think you'd keep the stats down for a measly bit of poison. Uh, but uh, there you go. We're in a good spot with health for both characters now. Um, Squeezy was a good item to pick up there as well. We'll see if our item room is a little bit better this time around as well. Ooh, interesting stuff here. Um, I think this is probably a worthy room to do. Do you know what? I'm going to take out all of these so they don't cause me any problems. Um, let's do this first. In fact, do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm not going to do this yet. I'm going to go and find my item room and use flip first so that if I get an angel deal, I still have... Like, I can use that room to gain more charges and potentially still have a flip charge available after that fact. I think that's a good idea. Okay, I'm pretty sure secret room is just here as well. But I'll uh, go into this room to check. Yeah, I'm pretty certain it is. If we get a red HP up, I'll take it on this guy. Sadly not. It does do soul heart damage, unfortunate, but it is what it is. Looks like we're one bite away from having it eaten. We got an Azur spin down here, um, which is kind of good to hold on to, I guess. I mean, I'll plop, I'll plop you down here. I know that bl blowing these guys up does nothing, but hey her. Um, we got an Azur spin down there. It is what it is. Dude, that damage is so bad. <laughs> Okay, keep this moving, keep this grooving. Yeah, I'll save that for getting more charges later on. Okay, I'm not particularly happy with the fact that I'm playing as this character on this room. I'm hoping the poison slash poop slick saves me, but these guys can be very annoying. The poison seems strong though, whatever poison this is, it seems to be a, a hearty poison. Cool. Good. Extra bombs. Lovely. Please let item room be this way so I don't have to waste the double room. I don't like what's going on with this room. I'm going to move over to this other side here. Okay, that was kind of horrible. <laughs> that room was scary as all hell. You're doing it again, game. I don't want these mushroom fellas messing me up. I mean, it's good that it confuses the hell out of them, but I feel like I'm going to get hit. The confusion's actually not good. It's making things a lot more complicated. Okay, so Mushroom's got one bite left. God damn it. Keep thinking it's over and it's not. But yeah, I don't know if you can get different levels of strength of poison, but it feels like the poison damage from this is doing more than normal. So maybe it does. Got a range increase there. Don't really remember how you guys work, I'll be honest. I just remember you leave a bit of slick when you dart around the room. So unfortunately, I am going to have to go for that double room and waste, waste a flip charge here. So let's let's go fight our boss now. Um, with unfortunately really, really low damage. Um, do I want to fight it as this guy? I've got bombs, it's fine. Okay, actually that's probably perfect that you've got the poop slick lying around there. I'm probably going to take some damage here. Probably should have thought about this a bit more, having the uh, the soul heart health that I do. Yeah. It's very easy that I uh, could foreseeably take another bit of damage here. I tried to predict with a bomb there. It didn't really work. Luckily... These guys darting around means there's just this poop slick absolutely everywhere, and that's augmenting my damage heavily. Giving me some herp. Um, we got three of these capsules. We didn't get an angel deal here. Uh, double tears up. Um, I think I'm going to take the double tears up on the other guy, and you can take the speed up. Uh, we'll keep that soul heart there as well. All that can stay there for now. 
Right. Range up can go to the other guy as well. Gonna be a lot of messing around going back and forth here, but it's alright. It's alright. Right. I'm glad to be doing this big room with this guy, though. It makes things easier. We do have a, a luck penny there, which is nice. Oh, that was such a stupid hit by me there. I mean, we're okay, but it's not the sort of hits I want to be taking, really, is it? Oh, for fuck's sake. Enemies that do the, do the, like, the, the monster attack of, like, spewing tears, I always find so difficult to dodge. That was not good. Um, right, so we have fully eaten the mushroom now. A, we regained all of our stats. Good. Um, I'm going to pop in here. Oh, I was really hoping it wouldn't be this. Four of those, nice. Oh, for... Completely forgot about the mini bombs. A lot of damage I shouldn't have taken there. Right. Um, we're still as the wrong guy here. That did not go my way. This is also a room that is pretty horrible for us. Of course, the item room is the last room we saw, so we get the least amount of charges on our... Um, on our flip for the next area. Right, so. First things first. Let's go back. Go back this way. It's a pain in the ass, but let's do it. Range, you need the range. Good, good. And you need that. And you need that. You take that as well. Let me come back this way. We see what our item room holds for us. And we just accept what we get. Hopefully the uh, shop has a battery in it too, so we can buy an item from the shop and flip on it as well. But we'll see. First of all, let's obviously do our item room here. And we get ourselves... Two actives. Um, unused transform half your health into fiend minions. Okay, let's hold off on that for a second. Come in here first. Okay. I think we're going to go with this, then flip, then this. Then this. Why do I still have 34 cent left? Oh, is this the one that gives me... Okay, I think, I think I know which one this is. It gives me stuff until I die again. Right. Then in here... We... Buy the battery. I realize it's going to hurt me. It's fine. We Soul of Eden... Which only Soul of Eden's one of them, and it's Soul of Eden it into absolute dog shit. <laughs> oh, this is frustrating, right? Then I grab that and flip and grab that. And then. Buy another battery? Wait, does, did, did, I think that cancelled out my B item. I don't think my B item works anymore. This all this all didn't go the way I wanted it to. Um, nah, I'm just going to leave that. I don't need that. Right, we've got Dad's key. That's good. That didn't really go the way I wanted it to, <laughs> I'll be honest. Didn't really go the way I wanted it to. It's fine. Oh, wait. Now I've got to go back and do this room. I for almost forgot. I almost forgot. <laughs> hmm. Now I'm thinking maybe the monster thing is actually worth it, considering I'm going to get charges back there. Let's let's go and get it. Let's go and get it. Right. Let's flip. 
Oh, wait, I think the B item stays and stated because I didn't buy as anything else. Okay. Because I didn't buy anything wild as this guy. So I think my B item is still intact. Feels weird to have less damage with this dude. Right. And then we get some charges back from here. We get the D12, which I'm honestly not that interested in. You can really eat. Oh, what the hell? It upgraded him as well. I didn't expect that. I didn't really read what it did correctly, clearly. Dude! It just pulled that guy right into me, you sausage. Hey, get off me! Hey! Hey, fucker! Hey! Fucker! Let... What is this bullshit? <laughs> I am soft locked. I literally can't get in another door. What is this bullshit? Can I do um debug ten? Yeah, okay. Okay. That's what that was annoying. <laughs> what the hell was that about? Right, get the hell out of here. Yeah, that was, that was really annoying. <laughs> also, my other dude is not doing well on health right now. Second secret room, I'm not entirely sure on. There's a few places I can think it could be. At the end of this bit here, maybe. Or at the end of this one over here. Probably here. There you go. We get ourselves a bed. Ooh, baby. This is annoying, because if I could flip, I could get three soul hearts out of this. But, I don't think I can flip. Oh wait, actually? Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. I spent a lot of time on this floor. Worth it. I'm pretty sure we have another battery charge in the shop. I think it's worth it. To go and grab... No, we don't. Bugger. I thought we had two charges here. What? If I flip, I could fucking buy battery charges. That's annoying. <gasps> oh, one pip off. Are you kidding me? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think there's any way to make this work, is there? I'm trying to figure it out. The only way I can think to get a charge is to use Sack Room. But even then, I'd have to spend a lot of HP to get there. And I don't have... I have some red hearts about. I have... One and a half there. Half there. One in the boss room. So I can do... One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six. I can't even get to the angel. I think it's like eight players to the angel. Ugh, this is bloody annoying, this is. Oh, I suppose actually, wait, I've got a bed. But then, wait. Can I use... If I use the bed as this character, can I also use it as the other character? Or is the bed going to be a one... I'm pretty sure the bed's a one-use thing. Either way, I think it's actually worth sacrificing here. I know I lose a soul heart, but I think it's worth it. One, two, three, four. Right. Five, six. Don't get the Urn of Souls. We do get this, at least. Six. 
seven. And we get Glyph of Balance as well. Which I guess I take. And then I sleep in the bed. So this is unfortunate. This didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. But I got two decent items out of this, so I'm reasonably happy. And I think I I, I need to I need to figure out how Glyph works again, because Glyph of Balance is um is a tricky one. Right, sleep in this bed. Let me go and che check up on Glyph of Balance here and see how this is going to work for us. One second. One second. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure how this is going to end up working. Um, because I'm pretty sure I'll only get the Glyph of Balance drops as this character, and I don't think I'm in a situation to get Soul Heart drops. This is going to be kind of awkward. But anyways, let's just continue on. I think this is a pretty good run so far. We've done a lot of min-maxing here to try and make this work, and I think it's paid off mostly. Uh, but yeah, I don't think my Gly Glyph of Balance is going to be all that valuable. Um, just because I'm not always going to get the drops I want. I guess I'll take that, why not? Uh, I'm not always going to get the drops I want, because I, I really should have had Glyph as this character instead. This is bad. Yeah. Oh, dude, I need to fucking get better at my life. This character is in a dire spot right now. Th this guy is absolutely killing it. Other dude, however, needed that bed. More than can be described, needed that bed. This dude is uh, is in a rough spot. Roll of pennies is good because it gives us a golden penny, but at this stage it's just not worth. Yep, here we go. Oh, god damn it. Um The D4 and Haunted Rose. Um Getting some bad items on my flips to be honest. I'm just gonna try and do a room here, although I might end up dying doing this. Okay, no, I didn't. Good. Um come back. Take this is you. And... Oh, wait. Will I... Wait, no. I think I can still flip. Yes! I was like, I was, I was like, I was sure that gave a soul heart, and it does good. Little baby ghosts as well. It's kind of fun. Um, I'm gonna wait and grab that trinket as the other dude. I'll do this, why not? Some good stuff there. Bit of damage there, that's okay. Right, come back over here. Then we grab this, even though we have low luck, I still think it's worth it. Right, then I've got a little idea coming up in a second. We'll see how this ends up working. Gotta make sure to never buy stuff as that other dude. Oh, we got a soul heart there. I don't know if that was from Glyph of Balance or not, but... Good stuff. Right, come back over here. Play this chest. We got a lot of red hearts about. Go. Unfortunately, that was a pretty trash play on that. Fucking tears now, are you kidding me? People that say I use pills are morons. <laughs> They're the fucking worst. They're so horrible. I did not need a tears down right now. So I can buy as this guy. I need to remember to use my um use my dad's key for opening stuff here and there. Do get a bit of Midas touch there, why not grab it? I guess. Get us off a soul heart. Lovely. Bouncy tears going all over the place. Red heart there. Thank you. Okay. 
We've seen our item room stuff. We're pretty much good to go on this floor, actually. Um, although there's, I don't know, we want a minimax. We want a minimax. Let's um, let's play out the rest of this floor and see how it goes. I need tears up as this guy, and a damage up, and a health up. I need everything as this guy. Monster candy. I don't think I will be needing that, but it exists. I guess it exists. We are the golden boy as we are right now. That completely fucking missed. Oh, is that what? So it becomes a monster candy if I miss, I guess. So I am I am currently getting soul hearts on drops from Glyph of Balance here. This is good. Um, good. So I'm, I'm I'm glad I came back this way. Actually, this is this has worked out quite nicely. God's sake. Get on the floor. Spike chest there, not too interested in that. Go and grab the soul heart and the HP up. Finally gives him some red HP to work with, that's nice. Ooh, okay. Um, oh, I was like, before this room's over, yeah, we're getting loads and loads of soul hearts here. So, not the sort of chest I was expecting from this, but I'll, uh... Crack it open anyways. Just a bunch of money. Right, another soul heart for that guy. Okay, Glyph of Balance is working out immensely here. We do have a Steven room here. I don't go to the Steven floor as much as I used to, but honestly, I think it's kind of niche when you want to go to the Steven floor. I guess I'll just take the soul heart as this guy for right now, because um, it's on the floor now. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, actually. I've just realized I shouldn't, shouldn't have done that. I need to be below six hearts to get a soul heart drop, so... Let me uh, purposely lower myself. There you go. Yeah, if you're if you're at six hearts or above, you won't get soul heart drops anymore. You've got to keep it at a very specific level. Uh, right. So let's keep, continue on this way. I'll try and find a second secret room here with the um, dad's key, which I think will be in this room. It is indeed. Kind of interesting. Does the Satanic Bible lock you into, um... Lock you... I can never remember. Does it lock you into Devil Deals? I think it does. Let's have a little look-see, shall we? Satanic Bible... Isaac... If taking a Devil Deal leaves Isaac with no in health... Okay, no, that's fine. Um... Bosses, set drops, uh, trying to find it. Using Satanic Bible changes the boss room for purposes. No, I'm not really finding it. I can't, I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't find out. There's nothing on the wiki that says specifically. At least that I can see. I don't know if I want to do this or not. I'm going to say no, just in case. I'm going to say no. Although I've got... Wait, no, no, no. This was stupid. This was stupid. I've got fucking dad's key. Who gives a shit if I can't get my angel pieces? Okay, this was a... This was a fucking idiotic idea. I should have just gone with a devil deal. Too much red poops. Poison's doing good work. Okay, we'll see what we get anyways. We, first of all, let's go in here. We get ourselves Sworn Protector, which is fine. And then Divine Intervention, which is pretty decent. Um, and this, probably should have picked this saw hat up before I uh, went in there, but it is what it is now, I guess. Right, okay, keep her going. Oh, God, I've confused myself. I have confused myself. There is a lot and a lot of skulls in here. Dude, I need to get better at my aim with this goddamn thing. 
really not good with it right now. Okay, we've got that thing coming in there. Good, extra bombs. I think now we've got some extra bombs, we might as well lay some uh, firepower down here. Ah, shame. I'm liking that synergy though with the bombs. Makes them really good for combat. Not too bad on these guys. You can't hit me. Swamp Protector can give us eternal hearts as well, which is nice. Oh, I just, just let that guy walk right into me. I love, like, the change to this guy with him using, like, the, the different types of bombs. But it does make him very trivial when he just destroys all the rocks that protect him. Kind of funny. Right, I was trying to actually hit something with this monster candy this time around. Okay, well, that thing's dead. Why aren't you coming over here, Gimp? Dude, come over here. I'm just gonna kill you. You're annoying me. Hey, we're getting soul heart drops again here. Doesn't mean I have to keep taking damage. Don't know what health I'm currently on, but it's, it's, it's gotta be half decent. Look, just soul hearts every day, boy. Soul hearts every day. Not able to see my health is not ideal as this uh, with this setup with glyph balance and stuff. We get you out of the equation, please. Thank you. Thank you muchly. I don't think I've ever seen you spawn this much stuff. Normally, you die very quickly. Good. Good. Lots of soul hearts. Dude, how the fuck do I keep missing? Oh, that was that was pretty beautiful. Another soul heart. I was hoping the poison would finish him off. Right, I'm gonna take a soul heart as this guy next time, because not ideal. Um, I don't care about Paul, so I'll just take this. Give me that. Okay, I finally got one. Oh, wait. Dude, this item's so fucking bugged. I've now made a heart that's friendly, that I can't kill, and the mask is uh, unkillable. Yeah, I'm not going to use this item anymore, because it's really bugged. <laughs> it's clearly not working as intended. Okay, dude, this guy's taken so much goddamn damage. I think I just lost my devil deal chance, didn't I? Fucking stop taking damage, you gimp! Oh my god. Right, um... Okay, I've taken quite a lot of red heart damage, apparently, as this guy. I don't know how much, but I'm able to pick up all these red hearts. Okay, we're back, back to full now. <gasps> it's birthright! It's birthright, right. Take that. Flip. Grab birthright. Fuck yes. I was just talking about you, birthright. Amazing. Take you out. 
I think my bees are done now because I purchased something as this guy, but it's worth it for birthright. Dude, that is such a good combo. Oh my god. I love it. And we just get a tears up, which we've actually been asking for as this guy, so I'm happy with that. Beautiful stuff here. Beautiful stuff. Ow. I'm pretty sure my swarm protector just pulled that in and got me hit. I'd like to know what health I'm on, please, game. Getting really frustrated with not knowing my current HP. Also, Glyph of Balance, if you could uh, start giving me my um, my soul hearts again, that'd be real tasty of you. Anyways, down we go. We're on 34 minutes. This is a slow-ass run. So you're on very good health. <laughs> you are killing it in the health department, my guy. You are you have good red health, but we do we do need some soul hearts as you. Okay, not too bad on these guys. Secret room here is just the world card, which I'll just pop. Around the world, around the world. <gasps> Smooth stone. Heck yes. And then, yes, this book is very good. And flip and take Mask of Infamy as you. I'm pretty happy with that. Chaos Heart. So that's just a bunch of healing. We don't really care about that. And the other ones, the Everything Jar, I think, which we also don't really care about. Yeah, I made mistakes here. I like the way the bees can still go at it, regardless. Hidden this cookbook here. Lovely, of course. Makes a lot of rooms a lot easier. Weather update, pasta. Okay then, game. If you say so. Soul heart for you. We need that. We've got alabaster box here. And a bunch of other actives. I guess I should take school bag. I think that's correct. I'm unsure. Yeah, I'm sure to take that. Gonna take school bag. There's a look penny in there. Where? Oh, it's behind the gear. I will take that. Thank you. Right. Let us go. Let us make our way to our boss. Nothing else here is of interest to me. Apart from the fact that I have to do this room that I didn't want to do. Thanks, game. Thanks, Curse of the Maze. God damn it, Kess the Maze. Why you like this? I'm trying to shortcut through here, because why not? Okay, what do these guys do again? Spew out webs and turn into spiders when they die. Not too bad, not too bad. Bunga. <laughs> There's some strange fortunes coming out of this. Fiendfolio fortunes do have some oddities as a part of them. Good, good, more keys is nice. I'm guessing we're getting more keys because of Glyph of Balance. I don't know how Glyph of Balance works now that we've uh, got two characters from Birthright at the same time. I don't know how that affects things. We'll see. Let's see if we get another key here. If we get another key, then it probably does affect things all the time.
We got a chest. But it did have a key in it. <laughs> Not quite the same. Right, good, good. I'm really liking our setup right now. We've not got like a crazy high damage setup, I don't think, but we're comfortably getting through the rooms and obviously Birthright makes things a hell of a lot easier. This character's Birthright is just like game changing. It basically means you get to use all your items at the same time, even if one character has less damage while the other is active. Right, it's boss time. Fiendish Mum, for some reason, always starts with lower HP. Never really understood why, but she does. Gotta keep our distance from those flames. I'll just text them. Nice, good stuff. We'll take that. Um, a good dark path here, I think. Cool. We're a little bit behind Hush. Just a little bit. Okay, they both just did the exact same thing. You're a big boy. Ooh, what do we get for killing you? Is this nine lives? No, it's the virus. Okay. Speed up's actually kind of nice. Not quite sure what you do. Don't want to find out. I'm just going to throw a scatter bomb on you and hope that kills you. That it does. Yes, Slayer Sister. I'm also realizing now, yeah, of course our fortune thing is active all the time. Our fortune trinket is always in play. I didn't really think about that. Cookbook. Go ahead and do your thing, although not in this room because what's the point? We don't know what we're getting here, but let's buy it anyways. Oh, Slick Spade, hell yes. Slick Spade is very good. Lots of various tier effects. We like various tier effects. Oh, the cookbook. So goddamn useful. Keep pushing forward now. Like, at, the, at this point, we're pretty much on cursing. Like, we're, we're at the cursing point of the run where we're just kind of getting through. Trying to find the boss. See what this gives us. Oh my god, paid out very quickly. Those chests are so strange. I feel like they're very powerful. And not liking the, um, the fact that there's a bunch of other enemies becoming a part of this room. I keep opening up a whole new can of worms every time I start shooting. Okay. I've not used my Ace of Clubs yet. Don't really have the need, to be honest. None of those were ghosties. How dare you, game. Okay, this room's getting a little hectic. A little bit hectic, but we're getting through it. We're getting through it. I recently uh, reinstalled um, Cyberpunk because of the 2.0 update. I bought the Phantom Liberty DLC, so I think I'm going to play that today. Uh, we can take Devil Deals at this point. I guess we should. Book of Lucifer. Oh, you can hold two actives. Great stuff. And Void Bombs. And then Flip. Why not? And then grab Little Lamb. Oh, Little Lamb's not ideal. That's good, though. Okay. Not bad stuff there. Not bad stuff. Right, okay. I think we are good to go. Um, the Book of Lucifer thing is actually pretty goddamn good for us here. Um, I don't know if we technically have a one-off bookworm now either. I'm not I'm not sure how that works with us having books on different characters. Well, that was kind of close. Dude, calm yourself, sir. Okay, we want to be constantly using this book as much as we can. And little... Little Lammy can, can fire off shots whenever, so we want to be making sure that he doesn't get the opportunity to do that most of the time. Unless we want him to. He does, he does decent damage. It's like 
20 damage, I think he does, per shot. It's like half Hippocax damage. So it's, it's pretty good, but we don't want him causing a ruckus. What the hell? Why is one of them big? Activates the Joe Puppet instantly with double intensity, giving the addicted pill for the current room. Interesting. Don't think I want it, but it's interesting. Need to find the right room to use this Acer Club song because I've been holding on to it forever. Okay, good. Probably this room, maybe? Nope, just bosses. This one protector keeps sucking in shots. When's it going to produce the Eternal Heart? I think it's after it's blocked 15 shots. Aha, you got bled. And you're going to zoom around and kill yourself via bleed. I like that. Right. We all good. We got the boss here as well, nice. Little lamb, stop trying to cause a ruckus. I've told you about this before. Oh, excuse me? I'm very confused as to what just happened there. I mean, it seemed to work out, but that, that was that was all very confusing. I think little lamb hit me, I think is what happened there. I think that's what happened. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. Second. There you go. Sorry about that. Right, let's keep it going. Not having map in here is very annoying. This is not the sort of floor I don't want. I want to have no mapping on. Ooh, baby. Those, um... Those chests can be very overpowered. I'll come back for that black heart. Ah, you bastard. So stupid of me. Half black heart there as well. Crack that open. Mini mush and curse eye. Mini mush definitely not, but I'll take the curse die. Uh, other way around. You know what I meant. <laughs> you know what I meant to say. Hopefully we can find the boss in some reason at a time here, but Curse of the Lost is going to make the floor bigger. Or is it Curse of the Maze that makes the floor bigger? One of them makes the floor bigger. I can't remember which one it is. <laughs> yeah, good. We got away. Right. Still haven't found a good use for the Ace of Clubs. Waiting for a room that looks really treacherous. Good. The holes have closed. The demon holes. Oh, God. Didn't expect that. Oh, for fuck's sake, little lamb. You're a shithead. You're a flaming shithead. He keeps firing when I do not want him to. Come here, you. Lots of rough enemies here for us. Soul Heart there. I'll take that as my other guy. Come on now. Oh. Fucking little lamb. You're an absolute fucking pile of... Fucking wretched butthole stank. Fuck you. Little lamb, you're a dog shit pile of ass. I hate you. <laughs> Stop firing. Whenever I switch, it automatically lets go. And so it automatically fires. I think I'm going to have to tap shoot from now on. Three, two, one... 
Plus, tap shooting does activate my uh, divine intervention more often as well, which is useful. Which can't have him like shooting me all the time. It's a pain in the ass. Dude, those void bombs are nutty. <laughs> We got bleed on him, that might be quite useful. Yeah, Neo's gonna take damage there, it just is what it is. We got him there, we got him. We got DNA Retractor there, whatever the hell that is. I kind of forgot we had Dark Bomb this whole time. He's just been chilling this whole time. False PhD, Scorched Earth, Dagger. Not a lot there's worth having. And we can't even, like, these don't even flip to do anything either. I guess it's worth taking the daggers. The rest are just kind of meh. The rest are just kind of meh. Try and get all of these things to level up our dagger. Basically, we just want to level it up as much as we can before the lamb fight, and especially before the mega certain fight. That was a good bombing there on him. Give me all these jimmies. I think you give quite a lot of gems, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Oh, something I've just realised, we haven't actually opened the Mega Certain door yet. We should, should go do that before we have to use Flip for it. Okay, good. Right, next room we'll go back. Good, right, go back. Didn't mean to open that, whatever. Cool. Right, where are we looking for the boss man? So many gems. It's good as well with uh, Bearthright, because the gems are just spawning all the time, like, rather than just on his turn. Ah, that was a pretty good shot right there. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, we want to keep Flip for Mega Satan, because basically it means we get a low HP on one character, we can just switch to the other character. Gives us those two HP bars to work with. I'm really not liking the way this guy's just sitting over the top of rocks all the time. Don't respect his strategy. Same with you, git. Stop! Sitting over the top of rocks. It ain't fucking fair. <laughs> Stop it. Get a gish. You're not that big of an issue. Big of a gish you. <laughs> Can't remember what he does when he jumps. A lot by the looks of things. Okay, Divine Intervention's working out great blocking shots right now. Unfortunately, we've not had any of the bosses, or many of the bosses, that like just drop an insane amount of gems. There's a few of them, like Pain and stuff, that just drop like crazy gems. We're not really getting many of those at the minute, though. Okay, that helps. I don't know what this guy's doing. I don't know why he's not firing. But I'll accept it. Do not want that. Uh, right. Boss time, I think we just go for it, yeah. 
Good thing about these void bombs is you don't really have to aim very accurately to hit with them. A little annoyed that I did like so little damage though. Oh god, I didn't expect that to be explosive. Got a, a blackout out of somewhere there. Try and grab that. Oh, my little Lammy's doing his own thing right now. Have to admit, not a fan of that. I mean, he's firing at the enemy, which is nice, but I don't like him going rogue. Doesn't seem prudent to my success. Dude, how has this little angel bitch not dropped a single Eternal Heart yet? He soaked up so many bullets. I'm sure there's going to be some really comedic timed things of these, uh, these various, um, what are they called? The fucking fortunes. There's going to be some really comedically timed fortunes, I bet, popping up, but I've just not been looking. Right, let's go do Mega Satan. I'm going to do one room first, because I'd rather play as my other character as main to get the main damage out of that. Ooh, that's the... The void room if you want to go and do void. But um, we'll try and do void um, through Mega Satan, I think. If Mega Satan goes well, that is. We'll lose a lot of health and I might reconsider. God damn it. Cool, right. Let's go. Secret room looks like it's here. Nope. That's sad. Ah, oh, there's a fucking thin room right here. Why would it be there? Idiota. <clears throat> oh, wait, what? It dropped... Ah, oh, you bastard. It dropped both my trinkets. I guess that other one's literally not procced once, so I don't care about it. Right, um... I think... I think I want to just go ahead and go for this. Oh, we got our dagger up to max level as well, I think, here. Or near to. Don't really know how quick of a fight this is going to end up being. We'll see. It seems like we're doing reasonably good damage. I think the daggers are helping a lot too with the burn damage and stuff. I mean, it's piercing, which is nice. Oh, Mask of Infamy, I forgot we had that. That's helping a good bit. Alright, try and take care of this guy before it becomes more of a problem. Don't know what you're doing now, but I don't like it. Oh, what the hell? Oh, the bleed. The bleed did a ton of damage to him there. This is why Slick Spade is amazing. Good old fortunes coming in. This isn't actually part of the, uh, the main event, is it? This is just some random guys he spawned. I think if I keep hurting him and ignore them, they'll despawn. No, they'll just... Ooh, if, we, if our dagger wasn't max level already, it is now. And it definitely will be after this. Okay, I don't think it was actually max level. I think we've just leveled it up. I don't know if it can go any higher. Like, I don't know if it gains more damage the more crystals you get past max rank or anything. Oh, bad hit there. It's kind of hard to see when there's all these crystals about, to be fair. So, don't, uh, don't at me. Stop healing yourself, Gim. Keeping enemies that chase you a good distance away with uh, Divine Intervention is very, very nice. Right, laser guy's gone. Second laser guy's gone. Explosive guy is gone. Money guy is gone. Go.
good. But what we want to do is we want to get the poop slick on this guy and get him to drop it in like a really convenient area, but it doesn't seem to be one to do that. For some reason, it's only been left up there. I love the rework to these angels. So good. I do wish the second phase of Satan, of Mega Satan would get a little bit of a refresh. It doesn't need anything crazy, but I think the, Mega, I think the, the second phase is like not particularly interesting, and on top of that, it's like there's, there's a few of his attacks that are a bit fucky and like overly hard to dodge. Right. Second phase is about to come for us. I'm not gay, Greg. Okay. If you say so, game. Okay, let's see how fast we can take this guy down. Uh, what happened to my bomb? Why did my bomb end up over there? Right, there you go. This is where Divine Intervention is really good. And the Angelic Protector. Although the Angelic Protector is kind of annoying here. Because it can suck the projectiles into me. Oh, that finally! Holy shit! After all this time, it finally decided to do its one and only job. Can't believe it took that long. What I should do realistically is put him up front like that. So that he's going to suck up the projectiles more easily. Right in front of me. This actually works really well. It's not killing all of them, but it's doing a good job of killing most of them. I can kind of use him as like a little bit of a hoover. <laughs> and I'm farming Eternal Hearts technically as well while I'm doing this. Oh, this works really well. Very nice. I like this tactic. Although I don't think we could get another Eternal Heart. Although it might not even matter. Anyways, that clears up this fight. And we'll see if we get um, the Delirium pull here or not. We did not, unfortunately. Either way, hope you guys did enjoy. That was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys in the next one.